Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus 33 and today uh, verses 18 to 23. Let's jump straight in. Then Moses said, I pray you show me your glory. And he said, I myself will make all my goodness pass before you and will proclaim the name of the Lord before you. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show compassion on whom I will show compassion. But he said, you cannot see my face for no man can see me and live. Then the Lord said, behold, there is a place by me and you shall stand there on the rock and it will come about while my glory is passing by that I will put you in the cleft of the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take my hand away and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. So here's Moses and he asked God, show me your glory. What a remarkable request. Moses has seen God's glory. He's been on Mount Sinai with God. That's an extraordinary experience, but he wants to come closer. And so let's look at this a little bit. Now, God gives three responses here, right? What is he going to do? Number one, I will make all my goodness pass before you. Number two, he says, I will be gracious to whom I'll be gracious to, and I'll show compassion on who I'll show compassion to. So different particular ways God's going to demonstrate his goodness. Moses can see God, but he can't see his face. He's going to just get to see kind of the backside. So God's going to manifest himself in some way and go past Moses, but he won't get to see God's face. If Moses saw God's face, Moses would die, okay? Moses has sinned. The holy God is not, he, Moses doesn't have a glorified body yet, okay? None of us do. And so uh, we're waiting for that day. But in the meantime, we've got, there's kind of a careful line here. You know, you might have heard of this thing in Chernobyl, the uh, nuclear reactor in Russia that melted down. And uh, there's a spot there called the Elephant's Foot. It's a place where the radioactivity is melted and ran down into the floor. And that space, I don't know that it still is, how radioactive it still is, but at a certain time, it was given out 10,000 to 20,000 rontogens uh, per, per whatever it was, per second. Um, anyway, to stand there next to that thing for two or three, for I think four or five minutes, that would, you'd get a fatal dose of radiation and you would die. Uh, the presence, the presence of that, the radioactivity coming off of that thing would, would be enough to kill you. Well, God's radiance compared to the radiance there would be that we would instantly die if we saw God's full manifestation. Moses wants to see God's glory. He's seen some of it before. Uh, but uh, God is telling him, look, you know, you're, we're not in that space yet where I can show you this. But guess what? I believe that a day is coming in which you and I, those who are faithful, uh, in our glorified, transformed bodies, we will be able to see God. We will look on his face. We will see God face to face, and we won't be vaporized or destroyed. But Moses is wanting to come closer to God, and God loves that. God is going to give him sort of a a preview, a sneak peek. He's going to get to see a little bit of something. But notice that's not just the visual. I guess we're very visual people today. All these special effects and crazy things happening, you know, on screens. But Moses is, is going to, and look at how God says he's going to do it. I'm going to be compassionate to who I'll be compassionate. I'll be merciful to who I'll be merciful to. And so God is showing that his presence is going to be manifest, maybe a little bit different than we're thinking. It's not like all bright lights. It's about God's goodness actually passing uh, before us. So I'm not sure what that would look like or feel like, but I, I, I respect Moses for wanting that, and I, I would hope that, it's, that I could have an experience like that too. I recognize that someday I'll have that experience in the kingdom uh, as I let Jesus transform me fully. But right now, I just appreciate Moses. He's, he's lifting the bar higher, and God is saying, yes, yes, I'm going to allow you to experience everything you can experience. God is ready to give us everything we can experience today. Why don't we take him up on it? Why are we so far behind? If he needs to put me in the cleft of the rock so I can be close to him, then I need to find that cleft of the rock. I need to go in so that I can be close to him. Same goes for you. May you be blessed, and may God pass by you and not me, and uh, maybe we'll get to see uh, his backside somehow. But he is a mighty and holy being, and we, um, we'd be glad to get anything we can get because we have sinned against him, and we need to draw close now and let him do for us that which we could never, ever do for ourselves. And you know what? He will do it. He will do it. May he pass close to you today.